Good morning and welcome to Witch Trainer Silver. You do some paperwork. You've finished one chapter so far. Boom Moon makes you feel more productive. You've finished two chapters so far. You call Jeannie. Ready to help the boys earn some points? And reward them for showing me their dicks? Yes, return to me after class. Mm, don't worry if I'm a little late though. Good morning, sir. Miss Granger? Yes? I need you to make some new friends at the Slytherin house. You mean you want me to try to flirt with the Slytherin boys again, sir? Fine. I have to, if I have to, sir. Well, I'd better go to class now. Classes are about to start. Good morning, coach. All I have to do is have an innocent conversation with her. Eagle One, how is school life? I need to stay on top of all the latest hot grot goss. Sir, I don't tend to pay attention to that sort of stuff. You must at least have heard something raunchy here at the school. Um, well... Seems like I'm not feeling the need to jerk off today. Free will is an illusion. Ah well, might as well pay attention to it for once. Go on, Eagle One. Why don't you tell me some more about the Slytherins? Gladly. I was going to say Hermione, but sure. It was only yesterday that I had to had that stinking Malfoy boy snickering behind my back as I walked past him. Yeah, like what? It's obvious if you ask me, sir. After all, he's just like any other boy at the school. They are all perverts. He even had the audacity, audaciousness, to whistle at me in front of everybody. And shout about what a great arse ar I have, and that he could not wait to beat it. Sounds to me like he was just enjoying the view. Next time he does it, I'll turn him into a filthy ferret, I swear. Your ass is a real head-turner, isn't it? To be frank with you, sir, I would be disappointed if it wasn't. Why don't you tease him about it a bit more then? Get him hooked on it. It would be to our benefit, don't you think? Hmm, yes. I could give him a peek once or twice. But as long as I don't have to let him touch it. Anything else you could tell me? Well, there are also the Slytherin Beathers, Krabby and Goyle. Malfoy's extraordinarily dense thugs. They've been strutting around school with their two bats. Hitting any girl's bum that happens to be in their reach. They aren't even allowed to make... They aren't even allowed to make a use of any Quidditch equipment outside the Quidditch pitch area. Aren't you a bit too harsh on them? Sir, since when is sexual harassment tolerated at this school? I bet there are many girls that enjoy the occasional spanking. What? Next time, you should ask one of those girls. Why would anyone enjoy that? How ridiculous. They might be too embarrassed to admit it. I'm sure Miss Granger wouldn't be afraid to admit it, don't you think? Granger? Don't even talk to me about her. She's a hypocrite and a slut. And I hate her. If you could make her die of embarrassment, I'd be more than thankful for it. 
embarrassing her how? Share some of your ideas with me. I'd love to hear them. Very well. Anything? Oh, I know. Strip her down and put her in a pillory in the middle of the Quidditch pitch. Kinky, I like it. And let the entire school watch her as she's getting pounded by a herd of centaurs. While there are bludgers flying around hitting her disgusting others. Um... What? Don't you think that's a bit extreme? Why? We're putting Granger in her natural habitat? Enclosed on a vast grassy field? Getting bred by a horse of, by a horde of bulls? A cow like her would love it. You seem very interested in that, though. From my perspective, it appears that the worse you talk about her, the more attracted to her you truly are. Rubbish. Girl, you are in denial. I am not. Sir, are we done here? I'm late for class. Uh, sure. I suppose we can wrap things up here. You are dismissed. Thank you, sir. Well, that was weird. That girl has a very wild imagination, I've got to say. Although I have to admit, I'm a bit of a fanboy now. Go, go, Ravenclaw! These boys do seem to have a particular fetish, although having Cho confirm it herself should help. I don't think we can do anything with her. How come Professor Snape is allowed to ask us to gather ingredients in the Forbidden Forest? The student didn't... The students didn't go... Didn't go got a bad grade, and the ones that did get detention. How is that fair? Hi, Jeannie. How was your classes today? Hmm, long and hard. Just like how I like them. I take it you were able to steal a few glances. It was even better than I thought it'd be. Who knew they'd be so nervous? What happened? Well, I figured I'd have to be alone with a student to convince them to whip it out for me. So I gave the cutest little thing I could find attention. Poor boy, I'm not sure he's... Poor, I think we did this. Poor boy, I'm not sure he'd even been in trouble before. So, when the bell rang, he immediately began to babble about how sorry he was for speaking in class and that he'd never do it again. I had to hold myself back from jumping on him right then and there. Anyway, I eventually managed to calm him down and tell him that it'll be okay. I even let him know that if he was a good boy, he would earn some points for his house. Did he like the sound of that? You should have seen his eyes light up like a kid on Christmas. You fooled around with a kid. What? No, of course not. Every student is of age here. And he didn't look like a kid at all down there. He was so fucking hung. Why is that stuck? Here we go. It was child's play, getting what I wanted from him. Mmm. I even had him play with himself for a little bit. Fuck, he looks tasty. Ahem, so did you award him his points or just teased him? Don't worry, I made sure Ravenclaw was paid handsomely. And did he look like, like the kind to talk? Probably not. Well, try and get the talker next time. We're trying to build your reputation, reputation, remember? I'll try. Although I have to play with this one a few more times. That'll be all for now, Tonks. Thanks, Jeannie. Good evening, sir. Miss Granger. Did you complete your tasks? 
I did as you asked, sir. How many boys did you flirt with today, Miss Granger? Five guys, sir. Is your name Zoe Quinn? Really? Yes. This one guy this morning, then another two right after the first period, and then another one before the third period. And after that, I had a surprisingly pleasant conversation with one more. The last one was quite smart and well-mannered, too. But I still refuse to change my opinion about the Slytherin house, sir. I'm not asking you to, Miss Granger. I am only doing this to get to help my own house. The proud house of Gryffindor. All right, all right, calm down, Miss Granger. The Gryffindor house gets five points. Thank you, sir. Anyone else coming to visit today? No? Okay. Good evening, coach. I got it. I've got a perfect idea of how to beat those snakes. Do we even... Do we even say phrasing anymore? Just tell me a plan. It's all about the ass. The ass? Yes, you told me how those brutes love a good ass spanking. Now that's an ass fetish if I ever heard one. So this time, we'll have those Slytherins get a good look at your ass. But they're Slytherins. And? You expect me to flaunt my ass to those brutes? Are you telling me you don't think it'll work? Of course it will work. They're dumb as hell. But, the, but everyone will be able to see my butt. That's the point. But, but... That's probably what the crowd will be thinking and chanting. Teasing Cedric is one thing, but the Slytherins... I can't see myself doing this. Well, that's your loss, I guess. If that's all you have, then I think I'm done here. Looks like she isn't confident enough yet. Some more favor should do the trick. Do they just have one for whacking off? I thought I saw that. Yep, they do. So there is another Harry Potter one people have been requesting. I will probably look at that in the future. I think we're almost done with all of these. One of them is completely broken. I don't know how to fix that. Suck and run. The best experience is recommended to play the story in chronological order. Oh, this is long. Ah, oh, I've been looking forward to this. Rough day, I take it. Bloody slack of all of them. What's the point of me teaching them anything if they can't even bother staying awake? Are you talking about your Slytherin sluts again? Surely that's on you, if anything. Maybe you need to spice things up a bit. What? No, I'm perfectly capable in that capacity. Unless you've heard something? No, these students in particular are some Hufflepuff boys. Now they're lazy at the best of times. But catching someone sleeping in my class, that's a first. I wish I could hang them by their ankles like in the old days. That would show them. Come on, man, it's Halloween. Cheer up a little, will you? Hmm. The time of year when girls will put on the, any type of outfit with the word slutty written in front of it. Exactly. Wait a minute. Do genies even celebrate holidays? I think the novelty of it would wear off rather quickly. You genius! We love Halloween! I do. I really like Halloween. You kidding me? The time... The time these holiday celebrations have been around has been but a blip on my entire existence. I was around when they burnt your kind at the stake, and that wasn't even that long ago to me. Right... Besides, Nightmare Before Christmas is like my favorite Halloween movie. Okay, Genie is my spirit animal. I like Zero and Jack. 
Oh, am I going to be threatened with people sending me stuff? Because they've done that before. I got a cute little zero uh, bag from somebody once. It was It's my favoriteest thing. And Miko, she really likes snuggling up to it. Mm-hmm, what? Christmas movie, whatever. You're such a mystery to me sometimes, Jeannie. Come on, you must have seen it. At least heard of it. I'm afraid I have not seen this nightmare movie thing. Okay, so there's this guy, Jack Skellington, and he's the pumpkin king of Halloween Town, which kind of makes him the boss of the place, only there's a mayor. Look, I don't know enough about the politics. Anyway, he decides he wants to be Santa Claus, so he kidnaps him in order to take his position. Only then the Americans shoot him down, and Jack has to release Santa in order to save Christmas. What the fuck are you smoking? Actually, maybe it is a Christmas movie after all. Oh, we're not getting into this fucking argument. Yeah, you're right. In that case, Die Hard would easily take the top spot. We are not getting a chat. You can those in the in the comments. You can get into this argument. I'm out of this. Is Die Hard a Christmas movie? And is Cri Nightmare Before Christmas Halloween, Christmas, or all of the above? Now that I think about it, the villain kind of looks like Die Hard. Don't you dare tell me it's not a Christmas movie. Whatever it is, you're on. Whatever, you, whatever it is they're on about sounds dreadfully boring. You and Snape continue drinking long into the night. You exchange tales of the skimpiest outfits you've seen girls wearing, and the issue with sticking your dick in crazy. End of chapter one. Oh, I want to go through all three chapters because you mentioned Nightmare Before Christmas. I'm going to have to put the Nightmare Before Christmas art of Miko and Zero up at the top there. Don't you judge me. I'm allowed to like cute things. Getting into the Halloween spirit? Of course. I've been looking forward to the Halloween fest ever since I got here. Brings back memories. <laughs> yeah, that food thing that I do all the time. Love it. It also gives me a great excuse to dress down. Don't, don't you mean dress up? Same thing. So, what will be this year, then? Hmm, why don't you have a guess? Oh, you cheeky little monkeys! Cheeky, cheeky little monkeys. Can I go backwards? Oh, I can, okay. So you cannot save. Isn't that just my normal clothes? That's true. So what will it be, then? Not sure. I would ruin the surprise. Let's see. Oh, that'd be fun. Do you have a fever? I could take your temperature. Orally, of course. You naughty. Wait, what do you mean about that exactly? Wouldn't you like to know? But no, that's not it. Let's see. Someone's getting greedy. Don't you have enough of those already? Never. So, what is it then? I'm not sure I should ruin the surprise. I'm sure you'll find out soon enough. Looking forward to it. Anyway, anything else going on that I should know about? Er, I had a little chat with Cerberus the other night. Not really the kind of thing I was talking about. Although I'm always up for gossip. I assume you weren't talking about Halloween since I doubt Snape would care about it in the slightest. Oh no, he absolutely loves it. Really? Well, color me surprised. Yeah, he seemed quite eager to find out what the girls will be wearing this year, in fact. Oh, so it's like that, is it? He also mentioned that some Hufflepuff boys have been falling asleep during his lessons. What do you think? What? Why do you think I'd know anything about Hufflepuff boys falling asleep in class? Are you implying that I'm sneaking into the room to fuck them? That I'm draining their cocks dry every night? What? I was just going to ask if you thought they'd been staying up late partying or something. Oh, no, I, I don't think they're doing anything like that. What was that about sucking them dry at night? Did I say that? Are you sure you didn't just hear what you wanted to hear, Jeannie? I'm pretty sure I heard you ask if they thought you were sucking your students at night. Then you must have misheard me. Are you drooling? Mm hmm? Oh, this? 
I was just thinking about having what to have for dinner tonight. Creamy mushroom soup, delicious. I see, very well. Please keep an eye on those Hufflepuff boys, all right? Of course, I'll make sure to inspect their dorms thoroughly. I'll even give them a little pat down, make sure they're not smuggling alcohol up there. Maybe a strip search or two? I don't think that'll be necessary. Just make sure they're not staying up all night, all right? Aw, oh, you're no fun at all. Glare. <sighs> Fine. Good night, Professor. Good night, Tonks. Okay, yeah, you can't save your enemies. Okay. I actually didn't know you couldn't. Give me more Halloween stuff. That's all you need to know. So that is all of them, save for one. Because one is completely broken. You do some paperwork. You've finished four chapters so far. You've completed a report. The full moon makes you feel more productive. You've finished one chapter so far. So we'll do one more day. I did get the funniest comment on a different site when it comes to the bird. Uh, somebody said, yeah, you pet that bird. You pet that fucking bird. And I don't know why that of all comments made me lose it laughing when I read it. But I just pictured it like really angry. Like, yeah, you pet that bird. You called Genie. Ready to help the boys earn some points? And reward them for showing me their dicks? Yeah, return to me after class. Mm-hmm, don't worry if I'm a little late yet. We already know that. Good morning, sir. Miss Granger, I want you to be especially flirtatious with your teachers today. I'll make sure to note every single detail, sir. Looking forward to it. Well, I better go to class now. Can I do this? Yeah. Good morning, coach. It's time for your next favor, Eagle One. Of course, coach. What would you like me to do? First, come a bit closer. Very well, sir. How often do you typically exercise, Miss Chang? As often as I can, coach. Which is how often exactly? Twice a week? Three times a day, sir. What? I don't even jerk off that often. I find that a bit hard to believe. You're not em embellishing the truth, are you? I'm not, sir. It is necessary for someone in my position. I wake up every morning before dawn, then run around the Quidditch pitch until the sun rises. My body is the absolute peak of human condition. It is quite impressive. Glad to hear it, coach. I assume you're going, you get complimented often? Uh, sometimes. And I suspect you have more admirers? Oh, um, maybe? But that's not why I take great care of my body, sir. It shouldn't be. I do the same. I go running, too. Of course not. Quidditch is a hard game for anyone, as I'm sure you know. But those go that goes double for girls. I have to train twice as hard as the boys if I want to stand a chance. That's commendable of you. Thank you, sir. So why don't you show me what you're made of? Let me have a proper look at you. Sir, I need you to remove your clothes. Go on, girl. Start with the top. No. Why are you even asking me to do such a thing? Have you already forgotten that I'm here to train you? And I'm very thankful for that, sir, but... I am... Am I not your trusted mentor? Your strong advisor? Your guardian angel? I don't think taking off my clothes will be necessary for our training, coach. 
I'm very disappointed, I've got to say. You aren't this shy about undressing in front of your team, are you? That's entirely different. How so? I'm just not comfortable doing it in front of you, sir. You're really old. Pardon me? I meant you're our headmaster. It just feels wrong to me. Are you the one of those shy girls, Miss Chang? No, sir. I wouldn't say I'm shy, but... Well, then prove to me that you aren't, girl. Let me see it. Is there no other way I could repay the favor? Well, yes, several. But we'll get to those later. Later, sir? Girl, I wouldn't be asking you this if I wasn't absolutely necessary for your training. Of course, coach. All that required of you is to be cooperative. Now, take off your top. Only my top? Would you like to take off more? I didn't mean it like that. Eagle One, it's the only... It's only the two of us in here. No need to worry. I'm not worried about others, coach. For as long as any as nobody else will find out. You have to promise me that, sir. Promise. Now take it off. <clears throat> Slowly. Why aren't you wearing a bra in the other one? Magnificent. Simply magnificent. Mm. As if Michelangelo himself carved them into flesh. I must say I'm very impressed. Thank you, sir. No other girls I get to see here has such fine contours. Other girls? Coach, you aren't turning anybody else. Hold on. Let's try... Let's try that one. Oh, glad you noticed. I'm relieved you actually show interest in my body status, sir. Oh, you've no idea, girl. I thought you just wanted to gush at my body like all the other teachers. Who? Which other teachers are you talking about? And Snape? No, not Snape. Promise me you won't tell her? Her? Tonks. Madam Hooch, sir. Ah, the old gray-haired lady. Yes, she's been eyeing me a lot lately. Even more so after our recent game against Hufflepuff. I can't blame her. Your body is very pleasant to look at. Thank you, sir. None of the other girls I get to see here has such fine contours. Other girls? Coach, you aren't training anybody else in Quidditch besides me, are you? What? Of course not. Then which other girls are you talking about? Shit, I better tell her the truth. Just... Granger. Phew. You scared me there for a second, sir. You don't mind? Please, why should I care what Granger does for you in here? All she seems to care about is winning the House Cup. As long as you don't help the Gryffindor Slytherin sluts win the Quidditch Cup, everything will be fine. No worries, Eagle One. I don't have plans to train other sluts in Quidditch. That's a relief. Besides, she clearly doesn't hold the candle against me. All she does is sit on her ass all arse all day studying in the library. You can't expect somebody who's as lazy as her to look as great as I do. Miss Granger's body is nothing compared to yours. I wholeheartedly agree, sir. Her tits sag too much and her fat hips are disgusting. Something deep inside me just died saying this. She really is a... Stupid, fat, cow, isn't she? Speaking of Hermione, why don't you show me your very much superior hips? Are you asking me to take off my bottoms? Yes, dear. Please don't tell anybody about what I'm about to do. It could really tarnish my reputation. I'd never think of it. I will take off my bottoms now. I'm not going to tell, but that fucking hat up there will. I like the little bow on her panties. That's cute. Yikes. Yes! Look at those thighs. Those tree trunks. Even the great Chun Li would be jealous of those. I'm sorry, sir. Who's that? City Hunter. She's my main! <laughs> Fuck, I could save too because it's censoring. 
Oh, she's my main. Simply love playing with her. Seeing that leg rise up when I press the right buttons. What? Speaking of which, I don't believe we are done here just yet. We aren't, but I did exactly what you wanted. You've still got some clothes on. Sir, is this why you've been helping me? Might this all be just a part of a sick scheme to get me naked? Ah, uh, I right. I'm supposed to believe that. You're practically foaming at the mouth just looking at me, sir. I'm not. That's just... Butterbeer. This is as far as I will go, sir. If you want a bimbo... Oh, what happens if we go? Okay. City Hunter? Can't say that I have. What about Police Story? No? Drunken Master? Or Drunken Master? Please tell me you've at least seen Rush Hour. <laughs> I know what you're doing. No, sir. I'm in shock over how little you care about your culture. Not even... Not every man can pull off a cosplay like that. I'm not following, sir. Speaking of which, I don't believe we're done here just yet. We got... Okay. Now take off your bra and hands and show of yours and show me your tits. Coach, how can you talk to me like that? I'm not- I'm your student. And a very pretty one at that. You disgust me, sir. If you want- okay. So either way, we piss her off. Yep, okay, so yeah. We're done here. God, she's a bitch. She'll do it next time, I'm sure. Hi, Jeannie. How'd it go? Great. I even managed to convince two boys to show me their dicks. At the same time. Two at once, congratulations. Yep. To be honest, they probably would have done it for free. Not that they turned down the offer of points, though. Care to elaborate? All right, then, you old perv. Normally, I just have the cutest thing that takes my eye stay behind after class. For a little one-on-one -on -one time. But I actually had to punish these two idiots for real. What did they do? They just wouldn't shut up during the whole lesson. And then they tried to lift a girl's skirt with Wingda Wing Wingardum Leviosa. A classic. They reminded me of my younger self, which probably meant that they were going too far. So I kept them after class, gave them the whole lecture about responsibility and respect. Then I told them that I'd pay them both ten points to show me their cocks. Just like that? Well, there's a lot more subtlety to it in practice. Not that I think I needed subtlety, given how horny they were. I think those two buggers would have actually thought I was going to jerk them off. Still, I think they had fun a fun time. Any chance they'd tell their friends about it? Oh yes, the Gryffindor common room is probably a buzz already. It wouldn't surprise me if I started getting asked to give more boys attention. Fooling around with Gryffindor and rewarding them isn't too helpful for our situation. But great work nonetheless. Thank you, Jeannie. That means a lot coming from you. Even if it is encouraging... Even if it is encouragement for dis seducing your students. Even then. Well, I'd better get back to work. These halls aren't safe unless there's a teacher on patrol. I'm not sure they're safe with her on patrol anyway. Ooh, yeah, that's bad. Good evening, sir. Miss Granger. Did you complete your task? I did as you asked, sir. Tell me, Miss Granger, how many teachers did you flirt with? Well, Professor, Slughorn invited me over to one of his rather disturbing tea parties. There were plenty of girls, 
but none of them were in my year. Almost every guest was a freshman. We had tea and some cakes. Everything was pretty harmless. Did you flirt with the man or not? I did. Or at least I tried to. Professor Slughorn seemed to be more interested in the other girls. You almost sound jealous, Miss Granger. What? That's preposterous. Here are your points. The Gryffindor house gets 15 points. Thank you, sir. All right, with that, we will leave it. Thank you guys for watching. If you want to support the channel, you can become a YouTube member, a member where else you're watching this. You can even become a member on Patreon, Subscribestar, and OnlyFans, and all that other jazz. Don't forget to also check out our shop. Bye, guys.